All right, welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. It's a Tuesday. Very odd for me to be able to make it fishing after work on a Tuesday. Only have about an hour of daylight left. But we're going to see what we can do. Thank you for coming along for the ride. Since I'm already rigged up with the white rooster tail, we're going to throw it. And I'm going to give it a good go. I'm going to cast it at least 15, 20 times before I consider changing it up. That's a little smallmouth bass, grabbed it. It's my first time actually catching something different here that actually wasn't a rainbow trout. I was beginning to wonder, is there any other fish in here? So that's a little smallmouth. A little smallmouth bass, grabbed it on the way out. Guess you never know. All right. Of course he gets to go back. I lost count. I'm going to call that 15. So we're going to cast five more times and then we're going to switch it up. All right, we're going to give the rooster tail a break. We're going to go to our power eggs and see what's going on. Got him. Ah, shoot. Pulled off. <laughs> we are anxious, what do you think? Good to see that they're here though. Let's try it again. We're gonna keep it going. This is the cast after losing the fish. Hopefully my walk of shame won't last too long. Wish me luck. Felt like a halfway decent fish. It didn't feel like a huge one necessarily, but I think you would have made it home. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to your family friendly YouTube fishing channel. My name is Chris and I affectionately call my channel OD5 or on day five fishing. And I call it that because the fish were created on the fifth day. So that's OD5 and you know, I'm a Christian and you can feel free to have your kids and family sit around and watch my videos. Um, I'm fishing freshwater these days uh, because I'm living in the Atlanta area. I once lived in the Wilmington area where I fished a lot of saltwater, fishing for things like flounder, uh, black drum, sheep's head, and um, I think those videos are very educational. I think my line's are about back in the area where that fish was. I'm not sure how rainbow trout kind of move around the water. I don't know if they kind of hang out on a spot or whether they kind of swim around. 
I know they swim around, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if they hang out in a certain spot like for a while during the course of the day, assuming they're not caught, or whether they just kind of navigate and move all throughout the river throughout the day. So if you know that, if you're a seasoned rainbow trout fisherman, or if you're not and you have an opinion, do share. There's my bite again. So I can be a little more patient this time. I don't know whether they're super small or I'm super anxious. Maybe a combination. All right, so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna put a little uh, salmon egg on the tip of this. See if I can make it a little more enticing. Make them a little more aggressive. Because I'm over two. And I'm no baseball scholar. But two strikes is not good. Let's see if we can improve our batting average here. I feel almost like I'm gonna have to let them take it because I mean, I felt a couple of really good bumps and then a good, a nice tug and tried to set the hook and nothing. So I'm not sure if maybe there is a lot of pressure in the air because, you know, there are storms around and not in this area, but maybe the pressure's off and maybe they're just doing a little something funky. I don't know. Might just be that I'm too anxious. What do you think? Salmon egg action came right off. Let me try that again. That's a good spot. Oh no. You know what I'm just realizing? I didn't bring my net today. That's not good. So if I catch up to the day, I'm gonna be lifting and uh that increases my chances of letting that fish drop off. So, yeah. Guess I got excited, ran out here, and forgot a couple of essentials. I don't have my net, nor do I have my fish bag, but I do have my cooler that you, of course, are sitting on, filming this show, performance, whatever you want to call it. Interesting. I just made the odds a little bit more interesting. What do you think? All right, now we have our net ready. Maybe that's why I didn't catch anything before. Because maybe God knew I'd be frustrated. So he's saving it all for now. There's a bite. Let's see if I can be patient and get this one. They're definitely not in any hurry. Still there. Trying to let them take it. They're notorious hook swallowers, but he ain't swallowed this one yet. We're still waiting on him. They are not aggressive at all today. Still pecking at it. Looks like he might have left it alone. No, it's still there.
think we might have got one this time. Man, I had to wait ages on that fish, but we got him. Not bad either. There he is. Even after all that, I still got him in the mouth. He didn't actually even swallow it like they typically do. I ain't complaining about that, but um, that was a super long, patient fish grind there. So I talked you through it. You talked me through it. Thank you for helping me. Thanks for coaching me through that one. Pretty nice fish. So now I know if I get another bite, I'm gonna wait and wait and wait and wait and wait some more and then try to set that hook. Same pecky pecky thing, he's not committing, so I'm gonna try to wait on him. Still there. commitment yet. All right, we're waiting them out. We figured out our fish technique for the day. Got to wait them out. Another decent fish. He got it a little bit deeper in his mouth, so my handy dandy forceps here. The word of the day is patience. If I had known that was the word of the day at the beginning of my trip, I might have as many as five fish right now. But I didn't know that was the word of the day. Or maybe it was four. I think I lost two before. Or I should say I missed two because I didn't even get them. Some flies working me, boy. Fighting flies. That's what I get for wearing short pants out here. So I got my power egg, salmon egg combo going right here. And that has been the case on fish one and fish two. Ah, man, that was the first aggressive bite I had today and I still miss them. Mm, mm, mm. I went away from my rule of patience today. Aggressive bite came along and made me forget everything that I had just talked about. The word of the day is patience. <laughs> so I need to be patient, even when that bite is aggressive like that one was. Man, that was hard to resist. That's why I didn't. Tried to set the hook, and as a result, I have one less fish or I should say at least I did not add fish number three to my string because I forgot the word of the day is patience.
pretty aggressive fight right there too. Got him that time. If we can keep him. Pretty nice there. That's the best one so far. He hit it. So I went against my own word again. Set the hook. It's a pretty fish. He knew he wanted it. Pretty nice fish there. And he got it all the way down. So, oh. Forceps will definitely be needed here. All right, coming together there. Word of the day is still patience though. All right, folks, well, thank you for stopping by. That's about my time. As always, be kind to the fish.